Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got the skid steer here, and I got the wife running it today. One thing I wanted to show you is there seems to be a lot of issues with people using accessories on skid steer loaders with the hoses. I see a lot of them where they just run them directly from the couplers here to the attachment with very little slack. And I don't like that. Never have liked that. It seems uh, just stupid in my opinion. What's another foot or two of hose cost you instead of replacing hoses that you break them for a dumb reason. So this attachment here, um, not sponsored anyway, but it is an 88 inch stinger attachment rock grapple bucket. Um, I believe they're somewhere by Rochester, Minnesota. I haven't been able to break this one yet. A couple things I don't like about it though. There's no bushings in here. It's just metal on metal. Mild steel, not greasable. Cylinders seem a little bit too small. No bushings in here. I have cracked here, here, all over in there. That could be beefed up a little bit. I haven't damaged the rock grapple itself yet. There's their website. I have uh, broken some of their hydraulic fittings and whatnot. It, it could be improved. It's an S88. It could be improved, but overall I haven't destroyed it yet. And I have had it flexing pretty good. But back to the original topic here. I added an old U-bolt here. I added a old U-bolt there. And half of a, actually that was like a four wheel drive shift lever. Could put half a U-bolt. So when I hook my hoses up, I snake it up through that one, couple it up, and then I just slip it around here. Just like that. Never have them get out of place, never have them get into the track, and I'll have the wife demonstrate here, but it has the full range of motion on the attachment. And this is how I set up all my skid steer attachments that have hydraulic hoses. So dear, why don't you start it up, raise the bucket up some, and then dump it all the way so we can see them hoses. Absolutely no bind at all. Roll it back all the way, dear. Roll it back. As you can see, there's no pinching, there's no binding, there's no pulling or tugging. It just works. And I have this set up that way, I have my snowblower set up that way. My snowblower, I can, I can jam the auger into the ground if I want to. I've seen other snowblowers that are set up with short hoses. You barely roll it at all. And you snap stuff, spendy stuff. So. Well, the reason why you got this out is I'm about out of firewood. We got to go cut some more. She knows what she's doing, but she doesn't like ever running the stuff. So she's like always uncomfortable. She's hollering, she doesn't know what she's doing.
to try to speed up the wood production a little bit. Uh, the point was to have her grapple some logs and then I lob them off. And uh, then I'm not digging in the dirt and that stuff. I, I'm not a professional chainsawist, wood butcher, connoisseur. So, yeah, let's get after it. I've got uh, my mighty farm tough husk varna. Four fifty five rancher. Got this from a buddy. Of course they had a massive fuel leak. There's uh the way they make the fuel line go through the tank just has like a little bushing in there that seals the hole up. That was junk of course. So I just I fixed that and now she isn't too bad. Well, I got my safety galoshes on and my ear mittens, which this is not sponsored either, but they're 3M Bluetooth, or you can plug a, I think it's a three and a half millimeter jack in there. I got these paired up to my phone, playing some tunes and protecting my ears. Get the old uh, noisemaker started here. Pull the choke out, give her a pinch of throttle. Push the squeeze button in here. See if I can get this to start on camera. I get the brake on. I'm going to be a pansy and push the decompression release. Now you want to let that thing warm up a little bit so you don't score the cylinder.
Well, didn't get done as much as I would have liked today. Although, we didn't really work on it very long either. Still a pretty good pile to go. It, uh, my chainsaw is cutting crooked. And it's not cutting very good. And I'm about out of bar oil anyways. Wife has to get to work now. So, seems like a decent time to stop for today. I'll have to give the chainsaw a little attention. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Take care and God bless. Hey, what are you doing over there? Nothing. Good job, dear. All right, it was horrible. You don't do that stuff every day. Thanks. You want to run them?